Welcome Nerf fans, this is John and Charles from Containment Crew and we've got our hands on the Zombie Strike Crossfire. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take a quick look at the box. From what I can see on the box, I like the look of it. It's, it's got mention of the Nerf Zombie app, which I just went and looked up. It's not available yet. Yeah, unfortunately. So. We can't do a review on that until, well, it exists. Yeah. And they've been advertising the Nerf app for a while now, and uh, we, we haven't, uh, again, haven't right seen on the it. Back. Right. On it, let's see if I can actually read this off. Just like the other bigger blasters, it's got the nifty little mission yep. thing. Mission. Clear. Oh, Go oh, ahead. You got it, or... Okay. Clear overrun areas. Target. Roaming zombie hordes, location, cities, uh, near food supplies, blueprint, crossfire bow, style, zombie strike darts, uh, function, crossbow, results, cross them off the list. Okay. Hooray for bad puns. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so now the part that everybody wants to see. What, it, what does it actually look like? Open. Ta-da! Of course, I want to take a quick look at the paperwork. I'm going to pop it out while you do that. Yep. Well, I made it nice and easy to get into the box. Load some darts in, pull it back, only shoot at zombies. Luckily, we know some. Oh, and look at that. It gives you a nice little warning. Don't store it primed. So, yep, not, not too much going on here. This one's pretty uh, minimalistic in the uh, instructions, and there are no oh. stencils on this one, were there? No, it doesn't I look I was actually it. liking those stencils. We were actually putting them on some things. Yeah. Um, it looks like the string comes pre-attached, so you're pretty much going to have to cut it off. Well, no. You can probably untie it right, right there and get yeah. it off. Um... Just snaps in. Looks like it just snaps in. If I got it the right way, do I have it the right way? Yeah. Looks like. Is it? Or yeah, it's in there. Yeah, the string's a little twisted around it. There we go. All right. It's loud. It's loud. I like that little uh, circle iron sight it's got up there. Check that out. So that's okay. Probably can't get the uh, the camera in there, but you can kind of see what's going on with that. It's, it's a not, different design. That's not bad. There's there's no stock on this though, but it's, at least it's got the stock attachment, so we can get get some sort of stock on there. Um, it's actually really light for the size. It's incredibly light. There probably isn't too much going on in here then. No. And looking at it from the side, this is why we had the rough cut. Uh, you can pretty much see there's some similarities to it. It's got the four front barrels, whereas, you know, the rough cuts a side-by-side, -side, but I think we pretty much have a reshelled rough cut here, and I think it's dart time. Because this isn't meant to fire all at the same time, is it? It's just... It's no. It's got the select fire in it. Yeah, the... Or the smart select. Yeah, whatever they call it. Yeah, I I'm don't... pretty sure it's got smart or intelligent or somewhere in the actual name of it. Loads the top, shot the top dart. So it should do the second one down. Keep trying to push the dart, put the, the rod back in. I don't know why. How'd that feel? That wasn't bad. It sounds worse than it feels, so... Yeah, that, that really wasn't bad. Oh, that's cool. Check that out. You can see through the handle. You can see through the handle? Yeah. Oh. That's, well, that is pretty nifty. <laughs> Hooray for being sidetracked. <laughs> um, the prime seems a little short, but where's the, where's the darts? So I think this is going to be the part where we run around like idiots and play with this thing while we're cut, and then we'll be back with some final thoughts on it. <laughs> Hooray!
Alright, we're back with our final thoughts. I like it for what it is. I would agree. It's it's you know it's it's an empty blaster. Um, I like I like the design of it. Um, I I do think I like the design on the hammer shot a lot more though. Uh, it it had more of that piece together look, whereas this almost has almost a sci-fi look to it, as yeah. opposed to uh, as opposed to the uh, the hammer shot that looked like it was kind of pieced together. Um, the other main thing that I really want to say about this is although it performs all right it it seems to seems to shoot about 45 which you know isn't bad it's a little cold out so you know things aren't performing yeah. at their peak but um i still think the rough cut for what it is being that this really does seem to basically be very similar to a rough cut and probably when we pop it open we'll find out more about that but uh i think for hvz applications uh the rough cuts a much more uh, practical. Much more practical. That's the word. And even more so, the strong arm, because you and whatever you're going to use, it be the the last ditch, yeah. last stand type blast. Yeah, these things are these. They tend to be difficult to reload, so you want to have as many shots as possible. And they're the same size, and as neat as the crossbow arms are, they don't really help storing it much. The one but, thing that this does have over the rough cut is the fact that it's got the Oh, it does have the stock attachment, that's right. You can slam a stock on there. Bam. You're unfortunately going to have to paint one at this point because there's no zombie strike stocks yet. Yeah, that's a little weird. I have. Is this the only one that's had a, a stock part on it, I think? Yeah. The sludge fire had a built-in kind of stock thing to store the shells. But that's basically it, there's any, unless there's anything you want to add to this. Overall... If you're looking for a, a bow arm blaster in the current series, I'd go with this one. The yeah. Heartbreaker bow was a major disappointment, and so was the Blazing Bow. Yeah, unfortunately. Thanks for watching.